Health Canada says the chance of getting a blood clot after receiving the AstraZeneca vaccine will end up being about one in every 250,000. Health Canada still considers the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine to outweigh the risks of getting COVID-19. Warning labels are said to be updated about the potential risk. The National Advisory Committee on Immunization, which recommended last month that the drug not be used on patients under 55, will now meet to decide if the advice should be updated. Premier Ford says today he's awaiting that call. We need uh, NASI, Health Canada, to lower the, the age to 50, and uh, we, we would love to... Uh, you know, purchase those those vaccines. While Ford is trying to get more people jabbed with AstraZeneca across the pond, one European country is suspending its use. Chosen to continue our vaccine rollout without AstraZeneca. Denmark, however, has vaccinated more of its population than Canada has, which allows authorities to make such judgments. Knowing that we have vaccinated most of our at-risk population, we have, are rolling out of our vaccines with a very high um, uh, volume, even despite continuing without the AstraZeneca vaccine. And we also have very good control of our epidemic. Epidemiologist Tim Sly says waiting to be immunized with a less scrutinized vaccine like Pfizer or Moderna is a game of chance. Waiting is far more risky than the a risk that they might have, uh, this remote, vanishingly small risk, that risk itself waiting, particularly if you're in a, in a situation where, as we are in Canada right now, our incidence rate per million people is about the same as the United States. Additionally, Sly says Ontarians aren't in a position to get picky with vaccines, especially if the province hopes to vaccinate 40% of the adult population by the end of the stay-at-home order. They have to, have to keep up about 130 30,000 a day, all day, every day, uh, for the remaining three weeks. So we're not going to be anything like that. If we had all the vaccines that we needed, we'd be able to vaccinate uh, the whole province in less than a month, 9.4 million if we had the 3,200 pharmacies going full steam. A recently announced 55-year-old woman in Quebec became the first Canadian to develop this rare blood clot. The agency that oversees vaccines that previously recommended that AstraZeneca be used for people 55 and up. Dr. Supriya Sharma says clots can be easily treatable if they are detected early.